here are the five stamp sets and this time I think we'll use the just for you caption because that's one of my favorites and I might incorporate that with a balloon so we'll use set one and two so I'll take these away and we'll use these ones and here's some of my original artwork from this one there's the just for you that one's more or less the same size isn't it and this one I did a lot bigger and it's come out that size there just to show you right with these I'm also going to use the stitched um, rounded cornered squares dies and I've picked out the two biggest ones so I'd like to die cut those out of smooth white card. So I've got the biggest one here. That's going to be like a matted layer, I think. And then the next layer down, it's actually got different stitch sort of dots. Well, that one's got little lines and this one's got dots. So it's quite nice that they're different. So these map together quite nicely. This gives a bit of texture as well just to use all the stitched marks and I'll incorporate that with a, a banner one fishtail banner and I've picked the central size of this and again this one's got a different stitched pattern again so I'll die cut that out of the same card so it all looks quite nice together so I'll take those away let's get stamping I'm going to use this middle layer I'm bringing my stamping platform because I have a wooden desk and it's not very level and also my ink's not brand new either. Okay, I'm, I've got a grey one here, I quite like the grey just for a more subtle tone if I don't want it perfectly black. So let's get the Just For You caption, put that on my bigger stamping block over that side because I'm going to use it that side up there okay so I'll stamp this with the grey lots of little taps onto there actually I might even use that to no that might get in the way might not so I'll put that over to the left about there, give it a press, and I'm also going to use the second generation stamp, slightly offset, so probably about there. I'll press that one in as well. And this is quite a nice idea because it gives you a shadow line. Now this is very faint, and I wanted it faint, if you can see that. So that's good. And another technique as well, if um, you stamp up your stamp and you use your stamp as it is, I'll just stamp this on a spare piece of paper like that. And if you bring in another piece of paper or card, and if I use that second generation stamp on a nice piece of card, I'll show you what you can do with that later on. Okay, so we'll put those to one side and get rid of our stamp. And I'll just bring in the balloon as well and while we've got while I've got my ink out. And we'll just stamp the balloon onto the banner in the same grey. It about there it doesn't have to be exact and again I'm going to just create that little shadow with the second generation stamp like so that's my ink inking and stamping done let's take those away that's it get rid of my platform and let's bring in some colour I've got some pencils here the coloured pencils I'll start with the black now because I've done it in grey I actually want to go over in black 
on the top section of each letter and just fade it out as I go down on all the thicker areas of the words. It creates like an ombre effect, if you can see what I'm doing, just with a black pencil crayon. That's it on all the thicker areas. It's just something you can do with these lettering stamps to create a more, make the um, captions a bit more personalised to your artistic skills. So you don't have to use them as a stamp, you can use them as a sort of a guideline really to go to go over. Just to create something different with them. So I've done, gone over there in the black and now I'm going to use the shadow of the second generation stamp to create some co interesting coloured shadows. So I'm going to colour the whole J here in yellow up to the next letter and we'll create like a rainbow effect I think. So I'm going to go in with orange for this U and I'm just basically colouring in the shadow and then we'll go for the red for the S and it's nice and faint so you won't actually see the stamp of this shadow because I'm just going over it it's very faint so it's just it gives you that guideline you know where to colour in that's it and then we'll go for a purpley for the T that's it colour it all in that's it and the crossbar as well like so. I'll go for the green down here. Going around for the F. So it's right down there. That's it. Around to connect to the O. That's it. And then the dark green for the O. I'm sure you'll get the idea. Blue for the R. There. And then come down here with the dark blue for the Y. going to rush slightly now so you can obviously do a neater job as you do yours. It's nice to do these with the, the bigger stamps with the bigger size of letters. Okay so I've run out of colours now so I'm just going to use my pencil just to do like a grey one for the U here. Colour that U in a grey, so it's a different, different colour. So that gives you another interesting effect. And then we can build our card up. So let's bring in our matted layer here. So I'm going to put this one onto foam pads. That's it, onto this single matted layer. So basically predominantly white this card but just that little bit of rainbow effect makes it look nice. I also put some foam padding on my banner. Okay attached that touch this. So it's nice you've got those little doodle elements, those little drawings as well to use in amongst your captions in your card design. So replace that onto there. And then I cut a white card blank with a top fold. Get my glue. I'll cut that to size to fit this on. Like 
place this on our card blank as well there all those nice stitched layers add texture and then we'll just add our banner and we'll just place that on the right hand side there just as it is so it's that's it just sticks above the card so there's our card complete and here's one I did earlier and this one I've actually used the hand lettered captions as well to stamp the verse inside there's various different ones so you don't have to repeat the caption that you've got on the front just for you birthday wishes in the grey as well stamped in the grey and then this card here is one that Jackie's done for me um, and she's used the balloons as well and she's actually made her own little tails out of very thin black card which is a cute idea sort of similarish design rainbowy and use a different caption there are lots of ideas right then let's go quickly go back to this this um, second generation stamp now if you like your hand lettering why not have a go yourself and use this as a template the some of the larger hand lettered captions you can use as a template and practice your hand lettering skills yourself so press down on all the downward strokes to get that thicker line and then fine as you go up so if you've got any brush pens why not have a little practice and use the stamps for your templates and I'll just show you this one that I've done and you can play around and use different effects this one I've gone over in blue and then again a couple of times right on the top right on the top of the letters to create like an ombre effect and then I've just highlighted it as well in a, a white gel pen this one I've just done it as it as I was here but I've done some shading in pencil all in the same angle and it looks like the caption's sitting up off the paper, doesn't it? So you can play around with interesting effects with shadows. Now this caption, I've continued the flourishing a little bit just to make it look more there, just, just added my own flourishes. And then with the hello, I've just basically got a fine liner end of the brush pen and just gone around the outline and put some dots in the thicker area, coloured in pencil and then use the same pencil to create some more shadows so you can really have a play and not only use the captions for you know card making but use them for your artwork and hand lettering skills great thank you for watching